Welcome back. I thought I'd do a quick video tutorial on how to activate low or zero voltage batteries with a lot of smart chargers as you can see here on the right. Once you insert a battery that has low voltage or zero voltage it won't actually be able to charge the cell. It's quite a common problem. You can see the green cell that I've put in there, both triple A's, that one will charge if there is enough voltage in that. So what do you do with a cell that doesn't have enough voltage to charge in your smart charger? You can if you want to, make sure you turn the charger off, put the um, metal contact across the positive terminals we can take them out and do that is to put some voltage into the battery on the D4 I'll show you this has only a short activation period around about five or six seconds so what happens after that period you get the error message come up so you can flick down the contact on the terminal just to start charging again you might have to do that a few times it depends that does have an activation feature on the d4 but it doesn't do put that voltage in for a very long time at all now, i'll show you on the newer sc4 from nightcore this one has a manual battery activation feature so we put this cell in we already know that the voltage is below one volt 0.75 and the error message comes up so what you need to do with this is just push both buttons at the same time and that will tell the charger to put current into that particular cell so you're overriding the automatic charging and that will uh, occur for about four or five minutes I believe on the night core charger so after a while we can see here that the charging has commenced as normal so there's a manual activation on that night core charger but some of the other chargers that are out there such as the Mi Boxer and the X-Star chargers have automatic activation feature. Some of the newer Nightcore ones like the F2 have an automatic one as well. The i4 is the same procedure, the new i4. Press both buttons at the same time. So I'll show you here a cell that I did when I was doing my uh, X-Star Dragon review. We can see this is a different cell, same brand and zero voltage again. A lot of chargers, if it's below 1 volt, won't charge. It could be 0.75, it could be 0.5. But in this particular case, I decided to check the voltage of the cell, and it's actually zero on this. It has no voltage at all. So I'm going to put it into the Dragon. This has an automatic battery activation feature. It just puts a low charge into the cell for about 10 minutes or so, and then it will commence charging normally at a standard rate. So the, all of the XR chargers that I've used have that feature built in. And what I noticed with this cell was that the uh, charge voltage went up quite quickly which indicated that the cell, the actual capacity of the cell could be quite poor so um, you can see me putting it back into the Opus charger here so you can do that put it back into another charger to, once it's activated so I did a capacity test on the cell and you'll see that this came in at under 200 at 185 the discharge capacity so even if you can activate a battery doesn't necessarily mean the battery is going to perform very well it's not very good to discharge a battery fully and this applies to lithium and um, nickel metal hydride cells other option you have is to use a manual charger such as this and this will just put current into the cell and do the same thing so hopefully you found that of some use on how to activate low voltage or zero voltage batteries